I'm Jen Piacenti with Fantasy Alarm. Welcome to the hot corner. A quick few minutes to catch you up on what's going on in the MLB and fantasy baseball. Your current home run leader for 2021 is a catcher. And that catcher isn't Gary Sanchez, Sal Perez, or JT Real Muto. It's Wilson Ramos. Just like we drew it up, right? Ramos has opened the season on fire for Detroit, batting 278 with six home runs. That's some great production from behind the dish. On Wednesday, everyone was talking about Corbin Burns. And no, not because of those flowing locks that would make even Noah Syndergaard jealous, because of his 10 strikeout game versus the Cubs. Now, yes, one could argue it was the Cubs. They're batting the league worst at 163, and they've already struck out 122 times in just 12 games. But what is especially impressive about Burns is his elite command. Burns has yet to walk a batter during his first three games, and he's striking out batters at a rate of nearly 15 per nine innings. There's early NL Cy Young talk here, but I would be remiss not to talk about another pitcher that looks like he should play Lancelot in the Broadway revival of Camelot, Tyler Glasnow. Glasnow had a career-high 14 strikeout game versus the Rangers this week, and he's yet to give up the long ball, and he's only surrendered one run this year. And finally, in early NL Cy Young news, the Mets have yet to get Jacob deGrom a win. Okay, next. All of this sounds pretty exciting, but I would be remiss not to mention we have not seen one, but two no hitters this week. Hometown hero Joe Musgrove tossed a gem versus that same Rangers team last week, logging the first no hitter in franchise history. Less than a week later, we saw Carlos Rodon in a comeback story with his own no hitter that was one hit by pitch short of a perfect game. And by the way, Rodon is only 54% owned in Yahoo League, so get your fab ready. If you're looking to boost your fantasy baseball rotation, take a look at Casey Mize. Mize had a career game versus the Astros this week, striking out five and walking two in seven scoreless innings. A top prospect for the Tigers, it looks like Mize may be coming into his own. He's surrendered only one run in two games this year, and next up, he gets the Oakland A's. Oakland has a lot of free swingers, and they're only batting 207 on the season. Mize is only 26% owned on ESPN. We have spent a lot of time talking about pitchers today, but I would be remiss not to also mention the strong long relief outing by Luis Garcia of Houston. He struck out seven over four scoreless. Garcia is a pitcher that could be used as a starter by the Astros, depending on injuries and the state of the IL. Right now, that's not very pretty. He's worth a stash in deeper leagues or in daily leagues to help boost your ratios and perhaps sneak in an extra dub. Now, before I wrap up, I want to touch on an everyday hitter that is only 12% owned in ESPN leagues, Jesus Aguilar. In case you haven't noticed, Aguilar is batting 353 on the season, and he's recorded a hit in every game this year except one. He's only a few seasons removed from a 35 home run season, this being the first year since that 2018 season that he'll have the opportunity to actually see more than 500 plate appearances. I'm stashing wherever he's available. The Red Sox are hot, the Yankees are not. J-Lo and A-Rod are splitsville, but news changes quickly in MLB, so hold on for a long ride.